we have been working on solving addition and subtraction story problems. Until today, all of our story problems have had one step. Today, we're going to work on story problems that have two steps. Yesterday, we used a three-read strategy. You can use the three-read strategy on two-step problems as well. But today, we're going to focus on using a, an organizer to help keep your first step and your second step separate. So we're gonna think about our first step and then we're gonna represent it with an equation and then we'll think about our second step and represent it as an equation. Our second step should be able to answer our final question. So let's read the story problem for today. There are 48 second graders at Hope Elementary. Lake Elementary has 15 fewer second graders. How many second graders are in both schools? The question is asking me how many second graders are in both schools. If I'm not careful, I might try to add 48 and 15, and that won't work. I might also try to subtract 48 and 15 and be done, and that also won't work. This is a two-step problem. So I need to think about my first step. If I want to know how many second graders are in both schools, let's see if I have the information that I need. I know that there are 48 second graders at Hope Elementary. But it tells me that Lake Elementary has 15 fewer second graders. I don't really know how many second graders Lake Elementary has. I'm not really sure that exact number. So I'm going to need my first step to be how many second graders are at Lake Elementary. So let's use what I know. Right now, I know that there are 48 second graders at Hope. I know that there are 15 fewer. Let's draw it this way. 15 fewer at Lake. So I know that 15 less are at Lake than at Hope. So my equation is going to be 48 minus 15. So let's come over here and solve it. My tens and my ones. Let's represent 48. And let's take away one ten and five ones. So I'll start with my ones. Five ones, one, two, three, four, five. I have two ones left. Oh, now look, I just made a quick mistake. I hope you did not make the same mistake that I did. I should have represented 48. I think I only had 47. So now let's take away my five ones. There we go. I'm left with three ones. And I need to also take away my one ten. And now I'm left with three tens, which is 30. So step one tells me that there are 33 second graders at Lake Elementary. So I've done step one. I had to figure out how many second graders were at Lake Elementary. So now it's time for step two. Let's go back to my final question. How many second graders are in both schools? So let's represent it down here. I know I have 48 second graders at Hope. And I know that I have 33 second graders Sorry, I'm getting a little sloppy here. 33 second graders at Lake. And I need to figure out how many total are there. Well, if I'm combining, I know that I'm going to be adding. So my equation is going to need to be 48 plus 33. So let's start down here with our tens and our ones. We're going to represent both add-ins. Let's make sure I get 48 this time. There we go. And 33. I notice I have more than 10 ones. So I can make my group of 10 ones and exchange them in for a new 10 rod. I have one one left over and I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So I have 80 plus one. So when I come to my final equation, I have 81 total second graders. So 
have 81 second graders in both Hope and Lake Elementary. So this problem took two steps. I couldn't just solve one by just adding or just subtracting. I actually had to subtract and add. In some of the problems, you might have to subtract twice or add twice or do what we did today, add and subtract. So you are going to practice solving some two-step problems today. All of the problems will have two steps. So take time to think about what your first step will be and your second step will be.